Okay, hey guys, so we took the golf cart. We came down a little way because it's hot and I didn't really want to walk the whole way. But there's the burial mound that we were just talking about, right? You notice it's at the edge of, I guess we could say this site for lack of a better word. And then we've got this whole flat layout right here. And then you notice that there's this hill kind of right in the middle. And that's kind of an odd looking hill. It's obviously not as big as the burial mound. So what do you think is going on there? Well, the answer is kind of surprising and it actually kind of once again helps us answer this question. Were the Native Americans civilized and to what extent? Because you see, the burial mound is very clearly a section over there. So they have a planned graveyard. That makes sense. In this area, you would have had houses and we know that they have houses because people have actually gone with metal, uh, there's a new metal detector type of thing that it can go and it can actually trace any human uh, presence and so we can actually map out exactly where all the houses were. So we know a lot of this grassy area right here is houses, or they were houses. But then you get this mound right here. Doesn't look like much. I mean, it's been 700 years. But this mound was kind of like their green. It's their communal space. It's where people would gather at the end of the day. Maybe it was ceremonial in purpose. And they would meet at the top of this thing on higher ground. This is really, 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 really important because what it's telling us is that they've sectionalized. They've actually built up a community that there's burial grounds, there's houses, there's a place for everybody to meet. And then if you turn around and look, actually, they have a place where they're getting all their supplies, a borrow pit. So we've got this whole pit down here. You can kind of see some of it down here where they borrow some of the grasses and things like that, possibly. And they take the material from here to build everything that's over there. So what we're saying is that they've specialized. So not only are they no longer hunter-gatherers, they have time to sit down and to actually, you be the planter, you be the person that builds, you be the potter, you be the person building those burial mounds, you be the person cooking the food and doing what, and we have specialization. When you have specialization, that means that you can start building up a government, that you can start building up a religious community, that you can build whatever you want.